I got this parang from a friend of mine. As you see, it has a broken handle. So today we will make a restoration of this uh, old parang. For those you don't really enjoy carving, you can skip to the end of the video to see how I assemble the handle. So let's get started and uh, hope you enjoy the video.
Okay, we are done with the handle. So you can do the fitting now. But before that, there's some modifications we need to do on the parang. The reason why the handle was cracked because the tongue itself is too short. See, one of the reasons, despite the wood materials, they are using a wrong type of wood. Okay, now we will make the tongue longer by trimming some of the part of the blade like this okay so we'll make the tongue inch maybe one inch longer so we can fit nicely and deeper into the handle so you can hold it hold the weight when you do chopping okay Okay, um, done during the hole. So just make sure when you drill the hole, it is straight and aligned so uh, the parang can fit in. Just need to check it is straight. Okay, so now we drill a hole for a safety pin. So, so what I do is Make sure the collar can be extend when you do the assembly so you can drill the safety pin here and you can hide it underneath the, the collar. Okay, we are all set for the assembler and this is what I'm usually use to fit the parang so this is a epoxy okay make sure you have your glove on huh? and uh, do it in a ventilated well ventilated area Make sure you put in the the gut, the collar in first. Carefully align the parang, the parang. Okay, so let it set for 24 hours, so after that you should be safe 
to use the epoxy will be hardened I'm using this 1002 grit stone the sharpening stone to sharpen the edge nice and slow Okay, uh, the blade have, has been sharpened. Now this is a final touch-up before we apply the finishing on the handle. Okay, uh, after the final touch up, so we can apply the wood finishing on the handle. So, this is what usually I use. This is the polyurethane, the oil based finish for wood. It is more durable and uh, more protection from stain. Um, again, uh, make sure you do it. Uh, at the well ventilated area I will apply two layer or three but this is a long process eh? the polyurethane take time to dry it might take a few hours to 24 hours so after it dries, I will send it off and uh, apply another layer again. Okay, first layer done. So uh, let it dry. Uh, we'll come back for second layer. Okay, I'm done send, uh, sending off the first layer. Um, this is why I'm uh, sending off the first layer because when you apply the first layer, the actually the paint fill fill up all the small gaps and the small holes on the wood. So when you send it off and you apply after you apply the second layers, you actually get a smoother smoother surface. So. You, it's all about you getting uh, better finishing and smooth surface after uh, you finish the painting. Okay, now we get on to apply the second layer. Okay, second layer done. And uh, I'm going through the same process again, just let it dry for a few hours. And uh, if you want to have more smoother or surface, you can repeat the same process uh, you know, for third layer. Okay, just let it dry. Okay, uh, I'm done 
send sending off the second layer so now the final finishing I will use this uh, wood wax wood wax oil to apply on the surface Okay, done. Of course, uh, if you like glossy feel or glossy finishing, you don't no need to send off the paint. Just uh, maintain it. Just uh, leave it. But myself, I prefer matte finishing. So this is a uh, final. If you like my work, please uh, give a like, share it, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and stay safe.